Hi, my name is Tamara and I'm a gluten-free hiker. When I decided to switch from day hiking to backpacking, the first question I had was, well, what are we going to eat? My husband and myself have been gluten-free for about four years. The idea of gluten-free cooking out in the woods was kind of a little overwhelming and when I started looking around, um, I didn't really find much. So I've kind of put together a couple of things that I'm going to have a couple videos on. But part of switching from being a day hiker to a backpacker is food. So you need to cook your food. So that means more equipment. And there's tons and tons of equipment out there. Um, since I'm just kind of making the switch, I went with the very, very basics. So I'm going to show you what I have and I'm using. Um, this is pretty much, I guess you want to say, your affordable versions. Um, there's a lot more expensive versions out there. So first thing I'm going to show you is I got the stove on Amazon. It is $8.99 for one or $17.99 for two. It's this size, which is really good for your backpack. It's super lightweight. Um, so you take it out of here, you buy one of these Sterno cans or the Jet Boil cans. This one was $5.99 at Fred Meyers, so super affordable, super easy. You open this guy up, it's in there, all folded up nice and neat. Unfold it. Put out its little legs. So I'm just gonna turn it on real quick. It has this little thing. Turn it, it's got an igniter, and you're going. Turn it up, turn it down. Super simple, super affordable. I mean, if you bought just the one and the can, you're into it for less than 15 bucks. And now you can boil water or you know heat stuff up out on the trail, and it doesn't take up very much space. The next thing that you do need is a little pot also. So I bought this pot set off of Amazon. It was $19.99 for this size, this size, this size. Really all you need is to be able to boil two cups of water. Um, so you could just start out with a basic pan for 10 bucks. It's nice, your sterno can will fit in there. So with just these few items, you're ready to boil water. From there, if you're gonna make your own meals, you need to get a uh, hefty freezer bags. You can get any kind of them. You need freezer bags. I like these Ziploc ones. This freezer part is the part that's important. Don't get storage bags. It has to be the freezer ones. The other thing is all over the internet you can find how-to videos on how to make these little cozies. You take whatever size bag you're going to be making, so I have a freezer bag, and you make your little cozy to fit that freezer bag. It's really simple. When you're out there cooking, basically what this is going to do is you're going to boil your water. You're going to have your food in this bag. You're going to put your bag inside of here, into there, with boiling water and your food. Shut that. 20 minutes. Come back in 20 minutes. Take your food out. Leg in here. If you want to, you can put it in a bowl. Um, the main reason that I like this method is no bowls, no pan to clean. The food would be in here and it would be all cooked. I take my spoon and I eat right out of it and then finished. No mess, no muss, no fuss. Um, so that's the, the way that I've decided to go. Um, from there, then it's like, okay, well, what are you eating? The majority of backpackers, they really like these Idahoans. They really like the North Sides for super easy. Well, these both have gluten in them. There are, if you go to the grocery store, gluten-free versions. So just look at your grocery store. This was a dollar. And this was a dollar. If we look down here, we see it's gluten-free right down there on the bottom. So you would take this pouch, make one of these to fit this pouch, boil your water, two cups of water in here, close it all up for 20 minutes, come back, and you've got cooked hot potatoes. These north sides, the ones that a lot of people use, are not gluten-free. If you go to your store, your grocery store, and you find these select ones, these are gluten-free and they're available in about six different varieties. So check those out. And so this one has gluten in it, it's about a dollar. Gluten-free version are about a dollar seventy-nine. So that's still really affordable. So one thing that I did discover is that you can get like the Paleo Mills backcountry, or you can get Mountain House Mills gluten-free, but those are about ten dollars a meal. So that's pretty expensive. Um, I know for my husband and myself I've got pretty much every weekend booked for us and that would add up really fast so this way we're looking at like you know a dollar two dollars whatever per meal so it's not not bad at all the other thing that I did was I went ahead and I bought myself a presto dehydrator I can dehydrate meat fruit all kinds of different things in it and I'm going to make a video and show you how to do that as well 
So these are just kind of your basics to get started and you can go as detailed as you want, get the dehydrator, go all the way, or you can just get the very, very basics of this and this, your gluten-free potatoes, your gluten-free rice sides, water, and you're eating dinner. My next video is gonna be an actual meal out in the backcountry. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and watch that one.